So it's a port. Ray? I ain't gonna break our promise or anything. I was just thinking. Might be a ship bound for where Chloe touched down, you know? I see. We should make for the pier. If any fairies have successfully made the crossing, they shall be there. How about you, Nina? You cool with going to the port? Of course. I needed to go there anyway, so no complaints here. It appears that passenger liners are docked on the opposite side. Right. You know, I pictured a port town being more lively. Exquisite. Uh, so, uh, you wanna play a SOA? Sure, why not? I got time. Place always this dead? Shouldn't be. To my knowledge, it's always bustling. Maybe this warrants an investigation?
Target sighted. Target sighted. Target sighted. See the deck I've assembled? All right, it's your funeral, buddy. So exquisite. If any...
Hey, hey, I appreciate your business. Sweet. Well, that was indeed fruitful. Stand up to mine. I'll show you just how hot blooded I am. I hate if I spend any more time changing. Oh, exquisite. Pardon us. Why are the fairies Takato still out of commission? I can't run a business like this. You trying to hightail it to the capital too, huh? Well, I've got bad news for you. The Vale Empire's got it locked down with their warships, and they're not withdrawing them anytime soon. You are kidding me! If I were, prices wouldn't be through the roof. I can barely put food on the table myself. <sighs> Maybe those rumors about a war brewing weren't so far-fetched after all. Just forget Kato and the capital even exist. You'll sleep better at night. Guess the laws of supply and demand apply no matter what planet you're on. Distro goes down and prices go up. Speaking of which, we came here to buy stuff, right? Are we even gonna be able to do that? Not actually sure. I didn't think shipping routes would be closed when we left, so we might be in trouble. Mind if I hit the infirmary now? It's right around here and I don't want to risk missing out. You cannot be serious! There aren't any ships running? What's the holdup? When are they gonna set sail again? I honestly couldn't tell you. Regular service has been temporarily suspended due to the appearance of the Imperial warships. What? Temporarily suspended? Isn't there anything you can do? I can't do much if the ships don't set sail. I got the best idea. You need to sneak into the Imperial capital. Huh? What? You've got to bust in there and knock some sense into somebody. The Emperor, whoever. Then the Emperor will stop sending out its warships and you guys can resume service, right? <laughs> That's a good one. Do I look like I'm joking? Because I'm not. At all. <laughs> Please, I told you, regular service is suspended! Ugh, he was useless anyway. Ugh, but what am I supposed to do if their stupid ships are too chicken to set sail? You're gonna have to think of something, old Welch.
A most eccentric young woman, for lack of a better word. Yeah, you can say that again. Hey, looks like she might have dropped something. Oh, a ring. I believe this symbol represents the Vineyards, a well-known merchant family in Delric. Who would it not? Perhaps we might keep an eye out next we are in Delric. My, though, what a rambunctious girl. Oh, exquisite. Trust this to me. Target sighted. is the hospital. Good afternoon. Is Dr. Vanell here? If it isn't little Nina. I heard those monsters were quite the handful. Wait, you did? How? When goods aren't coming in, your ears tend to perk up at news that might affect your bottom line. So then your stock is low, huh? I've got enough for the time being. Hold on a moment. I'll get you the usual. I don't want to be rude, but if all we're doing is picking up some drugs, remind me why you wanted us to tag along? Sorry, that's not the real reason. There's something I want Leticia to see. Sorry for the wait. Why the long face, Nina? If it's not too much trouble, can we see the patient? Uh, his illness is quite advanced. Just don't get too close. I'll make sure not to. If it's all right, I'd like to show you all something. Is he afflicted with... Yes, Helgar's disease. It's claimed the lives of 20 people already, and shows no signs of slowing down. That many? Tizia, if you don't mind, could I come with you to the capital? I need to visit the Semiomancy Consortium. What exactly is that? The main institution where semiomantic research is conducted. It has the best facilities in the kingdom. That goal I was talking about? It's to cure Helgars. And to do that, I'll need to learn a lot more about Iatromancy. Please, I just want to rid the world of the disease that killed my father. The rub is, would Maester Marcus approve of that? If he doesn't, we'll never learn enough about it, and more people will die. I can't let this disease spread any further than it already has. Dr. Ethan and I can only do so much by ourselves. 
I understand your concern, but that's not why we're here. We're here to convince the doctor to disclose Maester Felgreed's whereabouts. I personally have no issue with escorting you to the Consortium. However, were that to irreparably sour your relationship with Dr. Eason, it would defeat the whole purpose of this endeavor. I don't know. Call it a gut feeling, but I seriously doubt Marcus is that stubborn of a person. Do you? Anywho, let's head to Delric. Taking detours isn't gonna earn us any favors with him. Fair enough. It's not as if we gain anything by staying in Rifle. Uh, Albert! Uh, pardon the indiscretion, but no need to worry. I can stand by my... Uh. Yikes, he's burning up. This is bad. Dr. Vanell, we need you to look at someone right away. Please! Illness and travel are inseparable bedfellows. I doubt it's anything serious. That is a great relief. There is something I'd like to ask, however. What manner of creation is that arm? Uh, um... Before I continue, please speak to no one of what you will hear. Hmm... He has lived with that arm for 14 years now. I can only assume he has lived with that pain equally long, abiding it with stoic countenance so as... so as not to worry me. No need for such decorum. Someone of your station does not need to lower herself to mine. <sighs> as for Albert, I'm afraid I'm not the Iatromancer Marcus is. I recommend his second opinion. Tell him those are my exact words, and I'm certain he'll oblige. He will? Marcus isn't so set in his ways that he'd ignore Nina. Nor Filberto's wishes. Dr. Vanel. You've had enough excitement today. Go rest. I'll tell Albert when he comes to. Very well. Thank you, Doctor. How is he? Well enough to be discharged tomorrow morning. A little fatigued is all, apparently. <sighs> Good to hear. The doctor also suggested we have Maester Eason look at him once we return to Delric. Weird. Guess Nina was right about Albert looking sick then. Indeed. This ordeal has taken its toll on me as well. Let us return to our lodgings. near the fountain at the top of the hill, if I recall correctly. What a find! Hope we're not intruding! I want to get better at a sewer. How about playing around with me? Here, let's go pick up Albert. The clinic was just down the hill on the left, yeah? Wanna play a round of a SOA? You seem pretty smart. I'll even sell you a special deck. Aw, that's a shame. 
I'll still be here if you change your mind. Thank you all for looking after me, and sorry to have been such a burden, especially to you, Nina. You absolutely sure you're okay? I am. You shan't see me on my knees again. Bluster if you want. You will not weasel out of your trip to Dr. Eason's. Of course. Perish the thought. Okay then, let's get on getting back to Delric. Welcome. If anything strikes your fancy, feel free to take a closer look. I'll definitely need to come back here. Wanna play a round of a Soa? You seem pretty smart. I'll even sell you a special deck. I just know it. Join me in the wonderful world of a Soa. Now you can play a SOA with tons of people across the world. You're officially a member of our select group. I'm looking forward to the day that you come back with some amazing rare playing pieces. The main thing you must do to improve is play against a variety of different people. 
then you'll come across rare playing pieces. in us. <laughs> oh? You looking for a match? Fine then. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Begin. <laughs> Thank you. 
humiliating. I... I admit defeat. I shall give you no quarter. Seems I am the victor. Not bad at all. I'm sure it's only onwards and upwards from here for you. You looking for a match? I shall give you no quarter.
It seems I am the victor. Not bad at all. I'm sure it's only onwards and upwards.